we're gonna roll down on the ball and use the ball as our weight bench. So come along with me. Take some baby steps out. You're gonna scoop that belly in as you go all the way down. Keep walking out and then place the head on the ball and the hips up. Now on this set, what we're gonna do is just lift one arm up and lower it down. So just lift and lower. We're working that shoulder, we're working on balance and stabilization through the core, right? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. So as you're lifting that weight, think about be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Just say that to yourself, just repeat it. All right, a few more times. One more. Now let's go ahead and switch out the arms. Just lift and lower. I can do all things through Christ. Say that with me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now I know your hips are having a challenge here. It's a lot of work to keep the legs real still as this arm's moving, but you can do it. Use your core. And we're pressing through this together, right? We can do all things through Christ as he strengthens us. Again, working the shoulder on this one. You're also working your glutes and your hips by staying in this tabletop position. Anytime you need to rest your spine, just walk back and rest it, okay? All right, we've got about three more of these. Exhale on that lift. One more. All right, now both arms. Bring the weights over the shoulders. This time we're gonna lower down through the hips and then press up. Again, lower down and then lift up. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. Again, working those hips, it's not an easy one, but we're doing this together, right? Lower down, inhale, exhale, lift up and press. Reach through all the way and you can take these slower if you need to. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus, right? We are strong and bold and courageous. All right, keep going. Again, if you want to rest your spine, you can hold it in position and just work these arms, work the chest and work your shoulders. Let's do that one more time. All right, arms down, walk back. Rest the spine just a few seconds here. All right, now on this one, bring your weights towards one another, your palms together, and you're gonna lower back, go into a chest fly, come up and curl. Again, go back, be careful with it. And if you wanna get rid of the weights, you can do that as well. You know, we live by faith, right? Not by what we see with our eyes. We need to be living by faith and keeping your eyes up, thinking about those things that are pure and holy and praiseworthy. Do you feel that through the chest and through your shoulders? All right, keep going. You're doing fantastic, I know you are. We're working the core. And again, the chest and the shoulders on this one. We're keeping those legs really strong in position. All right, let's do that one more time. All right, now we're gonna walk back out, okay? So let's walk back out, place the head on the ball and lift up. So on this one, we're gonna bring our arms up. We're gonna alternate that fly. Just one arm goes out at a time. You know, we need to take our thoughts captive, right? Every single one of them and make them obedient to Christ. So be real mindful about what you're thinking about and ask God to help you with that, to renew your mindset through Him and take those thoughts that shouldn't be in your head, take them captive, get them out of there, right? As I say, take out the trash. <laughs> All right, keep moving from side to side. All right, working that chest, working through the shoulders, definitely working that lower body. Okay, one more. All right, this next set, both arms flies out. We're gonna lower down and then we're gonna come up in a hip lift. 
I will praise the Lord at all times. That's a good one for this exercise as we lift up. Think about praising the Lord at all times, in the good times, in the rough times, in the challenging times, we will praise the Lord. Just keep praising Him. And I guarantee you will get stronger and stronger because of your praise. And that darkness will start to go away as the light of Christ takes over in every area of your life. All right, lower down through the hips, come up. You're doing great. Hang in there, you can do this. All right, let's do this one more time together and bring those weights in. Very nice. Okay, walk back. What we're gonna do on this one is go back and come on up and cross jab, okay? You can go really small or really big if you wanted to. By his wounds, you have been healed. Receive that, okay? By his wounds, you have been healed. You have to want to receive his healing, right? You want to um, receive all that Christ has for you. And that includes healing you emotionally, right? Spiritually, and also physically. It really does. Doesn't make sense to the world, and it doesn't have to. But God is God. And he is a big God and a good God. And he is our healer and our redeemer, our savior, our comforter, our king. One more, then walk on back. Great work. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our spirit, mind, and body with the ball. All right, go ahead and walk back out. Place your head on the ball and lift up in that bridge position. We're gonna lower the arms down, bring the palms facing one another and start to lift them one at a time. Just working those biceps, keeping that core engaged. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So every day I'm asking the Lord to renew my mindset. I don't know about you, but I need that mind renewed every single day. All right, feel this in those arms at this angle. You should really be feeling those bicep muscles. Top of the arms, engage those muscles. Keep those legs strong and real still. All right, a few more times, one more. Now let's walk back just a little bit. You're gonna place your arms directly in front of you. And what you're gonna do is lower back and continue with your biceps, okay? So bring those weights towards you and then away as you're doing an ab curl. So working on the core, still working on those biceps. You know, even before he made the world, God loved us and he chose us. He was thinking about us. I mean, how awesome is that? Even before God made the world. I don't know if our mind can wrap around that, but it doesn't have to. We just have to know that God is God, and He is a totally amazing God. Again, working our biceps and working the core, working on that deep breathing. The legs are getting a great workout, just holding in position. Staying back in those heels a little bit, and one more. Okay, this time we're gonna continue with biceps, but cross them over one at a time you lower back and then come right back up. So alternating those arms and crossing them, okay? Imitate God, therefore, in everything you do because you are his child. So imitate him. He's the best teacher there ever is and was, right? So read his word to get to know who God is his son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, and imitate them in everything that you do. All right, keep going. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling this in the biceps a lot and in the core. Feel that all the way through the spine as you extend it, and one more. All right, this next one, we're gonna go back out into a bridge position. 
I'm gonna take the weights up, all right? Take a deep inhale, and then press up, exhale. And then if you want, you can rock back and forth. I mean, you don't have to, you can stay in position, but you could rock back and forth, right? God saved you by His grace when you first believed, and we've been talking about that. When you first accepted Jesus Christ into your life, He saved you, and He set you free. All right, feel that in your triceps, feel that in your legs. Again, you can rock or you can just hold still, whichever you prefer. We worked the biceps, so now we're working those triceps. We've got to make sure that we're balanced in all of our major muscle groups. Let's do about two more of these and one more. Now on this set, what we're going to do is take one arm out. We're going to cross over and do a tricep press, but at the same time, we're going to lower down and then lift right back up into that hip lift. Again, lower down and lift up. Just rest that other arm. Feel that in your core. You will keep in perfect peace those whose mind and hearts are focused on Christ. That's God's promise. All right, lower down. Feel that in your hips and glutes. Power up through your hips and glutes. Remember to protect your spine and your back by engaging those core muscles, all right? Those need to stay, stay super tight all the way through this. We're getting a great hip workout here and glute workout along with triceps. One more. All right, nice. Now place that one on your opposite leg and go to the opposite arm. So you're gonna cross over, tricep lower down and lift right back up, right? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, who is Jesus Christ, right? That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but will have eternal life. Oh, that's such good news. It's good news for each and every one of us today. And again, you can ask Jesus into your heart while you're exercising, doing this hip lift. You can. You can ask him into your heart wherever you're at right now. He will meet you right there. All right, keep moving and breathing and feeling this strongly in your triceps and in those legs. Let's do that two more times. One more. And let's rest the spine just a few seconds here. Whew, okay. Go on back and then jab across, okay? So we're gonna lower back, come up, and bring that arm across the body. You know, the Lord says, my grace is all you need. My power works best in your weakness. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> Where we are weak, he is strong. Again, working the core, and then we're doing a nice little cross jab that works the shoulders and the arms all at the same time. And these legs are getting a great workout, just holding position. Exhale on that cross, and you can take these slower if you need to. I want you to go at your level and the pace that's good for you today, okay? Let's do two more of these, and one more. Nice, okay, carefully come back to a seated position on top of that ball. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I would like to tell you about some great faith-based workouts. Pilates for the Soul is a mat workout designed to strengthen the back, core and spine while improving balance, flexibility and posture. Strength training for the seasoned soul incorporates three inspiring workouts that will improve bone density and help prevent osteoporosis. The stability ball workout improves core muscle development, improves balance and flexibility and offers relief from stress and back pain. And if you like variety, Workout with the Word offers 13 different inspirational workouts designed to transform the spirit, mind, and body. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. 
The website also encourages you with columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio and television shows, and Shape by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.